This is the real Tom Rose. And we're solving a number line problem here. Now we've been given this number line, and we've been asked to find the value of a plus b. Now to find the value of a plus b, in this particular case, we're going to need to find the value of a and the value of b. And what this really comes down to is, can we label each of the tick marks on this line? Because if we can, then we can add them together and we'll be done. So how do you label the tick marks? Well, it's interesting that this is actually, this situation is where the term divide comes from, right? So we have the idea of a mathematical operator which divides things, which actually comes from the idea of taking something such as a line and dividing it into seven pieces. And the way that you can figure out the size of one of those pieces is you take the length of the original line, which in this case is one, and you divide it by the number of pieces. So we have one divided by seven pieces. And that is equal to the size of a piece. So let's go ahead and label the number line that we're given. We start at 0. A will be at 1 7 B is at 2 7 Then we'll have 3 7 4 7 I'm just going to keep labeling all the way to the end to make sure that I haven't made a mistake. Right, and right as I'm writing the last piece, I find that 7 7 is at the same place as one. And I'm gonna double check, seven sevenths equals one. And it does, so I know that I've done things correctly. So now we can plug in and solve. We know A is one seventh. And B is two sevenths. And we have a common denominator, so you can add them together and we'll end up with three sevenths. Which is answer choice E.